It's 1957 and Detroit is cooking. The factories are busy cranking out big fin gas guzzlers. Gas is 20 cents a gallon. Coke is a nickel and it's in a bottle, not a can. And then there's this new thing called rock and roll that's driving the parents absolutely crazy. That was Johnny Powers singing long blonde hair. Heck, long blonde hair, I don't care if she's got a rash, just as long as she's got some cash. So let me tell you the story about Johnny Powers, an icon in the world of rockabilly music, where the fans still sport tight jeans, turned up collars, and DA haircuts. As a teenager in the 50s, Johnny Powers recorded for some of the most legendary record labels in the history of American music. As it turns out, he was the last artist to be signed by Sam Phillips at Sun Records in Memphis, the home of Carl Perkins, Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Johnny Cash. And as one door closes, another one always opens. And the next time around, Johnny becomes the first white artist to be signed by Barry Gordy back home at Motown Records in Detroit. Johnny Pavlik is just 18 years old when he walks into the legendary Fortune Records building on 3rd Street. He's got a hundred bucks in his pocket and a dream. A few hours later, he walks out with a record, a record deal, and a brand new name, Johnny Pavlik's. Well, I was standing out in the uh, record part where they, she sells her 45s, uh, like a record shop, because the studio was in the back. And uh, she says, by the way, uh, you're going to have to change your name. And I says, uh, well, I never thought of that. You know, what am I, I, she says, what are you going to change it to? I said, I have no idea. Meantime, I was eating a candy bar, and it was a powerhouse candy bar. And she says, what, what kind of, what, what are you eating there? I says, a powerhouse candy bar. She says, your name's Johnny Powers. Two months, maybe less than that, I was playing along with them, just courting. You know, because I already had the rhythm, natural rhythm thing. So within about six, seven months, I was playing with Jimmy Williams and Drifters as a slap guitar, rhythm guitar player. <laughs> well, it's me and the rhythm guitar. Yes, yeah, me and the rhythm guitar. Yeah, when I booked Johnny Powers um, to appear for the first time in Europe, um, there was a tremendous demand. Uh, his records have been selling really well uh, in the in the late seventies, and uh, he he was on that stage and he really gave it to him. The girls were screaming and uh, the band was uh, excellent. It was one of those magic nights. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We took that blue grass off and gave it a blue. 
screaming guitar player, drummer with a beat, a cool slap and bass, and some wild dancing feet. Yeah, I was there when it happened. We gave our souls a rock and roll. John